The first day we moved in, they knew my father's name all the way from the caregivers to the front desk, to the nurses, to the kitchen staff. And they even knew my name too, which was amazing. And so they really make him feel like he belongs here, he's welcome here, and it's his home. So looking for a place is, is difficult in itself. Um, some people feel not ready because the member, the family member is not ready or they feel like they should do a better job keeping uh, their family member at home. But in reality, him being here is better than I could do at home, hiring a 24-hour caregiver because he has many friends. He has 24-hour nursing staff if needed. He has three meals a day. He can order whatever he wants. The meals are balanced and delicious for him. Um, so don't feel hesitant to look for a good place um, that could take good care of uh, your family member. You can always support and visit and participate too. So yes, you want to find a place that would would uh, welcome you coming to visit and, and, and uh, uh, participating. Um, you want to find a place where that could fulfill your family's needs and so you have to you have to know at what stage they are. Um, some people might be very independent still and they they want to just be able to move around, do the activities they want, uh, sit at the table they want and find the friends they want or they might be more like my dad where they need to be guided a little bit more. Um, they need to be included in activities so that they can participate rather than having to go look for them. So it really depends on the level of the cognitive level that they're at and you should find a place that has a program that would suit that. Um, and then also a program that can continue to to follow them as they change or decline um, to suit their needs too. <laughs>